Hello, I'm Rob with the Bee, the guy who's going to show you 101 ways to make a fire. I'm here with my buddy Beatnik Bob. How's it? We're uh, 30 k's away from the nearest civilization, and we've got everything we need for uh, for a week in the wilderness. We got beer. We got meat for brying. We even got hot looking babes. Hi. Okay, so they're not that hot. But uh, hey, we're going to be here for a whole week, right? And we have a lot of beer. Hey, and this time we even remember the toilet paper. Now, my friend Bob here, yeah, he's a bit of a bit of a smoker. So uh, it's his job to remember the matches. Bob, matches. Dude, you gotta remind me, Exe. Okay, so plan B then. So what we're gonna need is uh, a beer tin, some toilet paper, and uh, some sort of rubbing paste to polish the base of the beer tin. Uh, what would work well is ash from a fire. Which you don't have. Chocolate will work, Roberta. No, it's mine! Or toothpaste. You have such lovely teeth. So we have toothpaste. And now we need half an hour of dedicated elbow grease. Bob. We're also going to need something to aim our little point of light at. Something black, preferably natural fabric, fine, lacy, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Perfect. My mother warned me about this camping business. I actually brought some char cloth with me, but don't tell her. Dude, this is like hard craft, man. Right, so while he's busy over there, I'm just going to tear some of this up into nice fine strips. And this is going to be our tinder. The idea is to maximize the exposed surface area. And then we're just going to wrap it around with some of the intact stuff, essentially to make a little bird's nest, like we did last time, to blow into to get the fire going. How are you getting along there, Bob? How are you getting along there, Bob? This is going to take a while. In the meantime, I think I'll crack open one of those beers.